ready. And arched back. Pop that mm. chest. Pop those tears. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta have like the side ass and the chest out up front yeah, at the same time. There you go. Oh, the shampoo. <laughs> oh, my tea. Oh, oh. oh I just shaved. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Alright, All right, well, we're rolling. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three, four. Tell me you don't know how it burns to cry alone when the sunset fades and all you've got are the tear stained sheets and your racing thoughts. There's always strings left untied. There's always one more last goodbye. And this world will break you if you don't allow your ain't diamonds and rain ain't tears and love don't last a thousand years we build our walls we lock our gates but we'll all be in the dirt so
Yeah, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. What's your name? <laughs> what do you but, do? <laughs> uh, my name's Pratik. Um, I play sad folk music. Sad folk music? Sad folk music. So if someone Googles Pratik sad folk music, that's how you're gonna be found? I was thinking about doing the slogan like sad folk for sad folk, but then I realized like, uh... Yeah, I was gonna say, cause like, cause I listen to your songs, like, like, heartbreak is a pretty common theme throughout. <laughs> yeah. Kinda like, what do you want to say to people? Like, are you, are, is that you, like, putting your, like, bleeding heart on your sleeves for the world to see? Are you, like, trying to connect with people with that? Or, like... Yeah. Where, the, where do those stories come from? Um, I think one of the things I love doing with a song is I like to make it... I, I like to imagine that it's something I am saying to someone. Mm. So, like, some... I've, like, written, like, songs about, like, you know, past relationships where it's, like, I imagine, like, I'm writing to this person... Um, to like to this specific person and then just trying to write the song in such a way that people can still relate to it Yeah, mm -hmm. and then other times um, The song that you're gonna hear at the end of this video is a song called Kalamazoo and that's kind of more about an archetype It's sort of like a mishmash of a lot of people that um, in this case my brother knew right um, kind of just like all like me sort of addressing like that kind of person um, in this case like someone who's like super self-destructive and kind of like destroying themselves without regards to their friends um, yeah have you ever had to play a song that you wrote about someone to that person no. good question <laughs> oh i am oh man okay so i have not had to play a song but i did um so i recorded a song called emma which is about an actual um just an actual person called emma <laughs> so I met. So I've, we 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 live in separate states. Um, like now, we knew each other like a while ago, and um, so they didn't know that I had that like I'd written this song until like I finally like recorded it and put it out in the world, and like yeah. I was blowing it up on social media, being like, "Hey, listen to this song," um, and like they messaged me, and well, and we're all like, "Oh, so you wrote a song about me, huh?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah." Um, yeah. Yeah. And she, and, 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 and she said, can I hear it? And I was like, yeah. So I shot the link and I never got a message back. <laughs> <laughs> so, but like, you know, spicy to say, it was weird. Yeah. It was weird. <laughs> Is it like a, like a catharsis to, to kind of write those conversations? Oh God, absolutely. Yeah. It was so much harder for me to be like vulnerable with my family and with my friends and sort of like the people I actually knew. And, um... <clears throat> kind of writing, when it's like especially like when I first started writing songs, it was actually like super liberating because it was like, oh, I can express these things. Yeah, yeah. And then, <clears throat> and I, you know, I that's actually, I'm not someone who like says it's like, oh, music heals everything. But I will say that like as I wrote songs more often and as I got better at writing songs and better at saying what I had to say, mm. um, it actually it made it a lot easier to be like very more honest and more vulnerable with all the people that I knew. Um, so it, it, it did some, it did yes. do wonders for my Just relationships. Just like interpersonal. Yeah, yeah, because I was like, okay, I can say these things, so I can, I can say, the, if I can say these things to strangers, I can definitely say them to, uh, yeah. to the people who matter. Hmm. Um, it's kind of like always what I've wanted to do. I think like a lot of, as a kid, I've always remember being frustrated that I couldn't say what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. And if anything, like getting up on stage has been like super empowering, um, yeah. Learning experience, definitely, yeah. but like a great way to just like learn. It's like, okay, this is what I want to say, yeah, and I hope you relate to it. I I wanted to ask you about um, the, I, I kind of like how you got into the DIY scene in Boston. I came from the suburbs, so, and you know, like between that and like not having a lot of, you know, not having, um, you know, being particularly social when I was a kid, like, I didn't grow up around a music scene. So, like, you, you gotta, you, you know, you imagine, like, this kid in, like, middle school and high school who's, like, mostly listening to, like, music alone in his bedroom or, like, alone in front of his computer. Um, and so, you know, I was kind of, like, you know, like, really, I played a lot of music alone, but I was, I was definitely, like, desperate to, like, find a community. And, like, when I figured out that, like, okay, I want to write my own music and I want to play my own music, I just kind of started, like, going to, like, every open mic I could find. I was just like, yeah, I just want to, like, play in front of people. Yeah. And, like, be, you know, and, like, 
share my story and like tear and like just do my thing for like pretty much anyone who will listen and like a big part of it was actually like coming into like this house because i like one of the open mics i guess like the shorter the short version of it is like i came in the diy scene because the diy scene welcomed me mm. and that's i think that i think that's what i love about it and i think that's why it's been great and that's why it's been great and i think that's why the diy scene is the diy scene just because like it welcomes people mm. and that's what it always should be you are now full-time musician. Yes, I'm. I'm trying to make that change. So, that what's that? Oh, what's that sense. like? Like just really like throwing it all to the wind, saying I'm. I'm doing this full force. And how disappointed in you are your parents? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my parents have been actually incredibly supportive. Nice. Um, awesome. Shout out to mom and dad. Um, it's kind of like the feeling you get immediately, like after graduating school. Except now, imagine that that feeling is your day job. You know, you don't... This is something I've wanted to do for a while, and, like, the fact that I've met, been lucky enough to meet so many people in my life who believe in me and who've, like, fostered me and nurtured me and helped me get to this point is, you know, like, unbelievable, so... I wanted to ask you about, A, it, like, plan B, do you busk? And if you do busk, where are good busking tips and busking? Because I would fucking need that yo, shit. Share your yo, secrets. Yeah, yo. enlighten so, us. Yeah, just. so I've actually, so I'm actually, I haven't done busking as much, uh, as much as a lot of other people. Yeah, I've, that's one thing I'd love to do more this year is busk. Cause cool. it's, but yeah, it's really good. Um, for just kind of like practicing. Yeah. And as someone who's not terribly motivated to practice like on their own, yeah. <laughs> going like going to bus is great because like you can just like you know you can you'll you'll be like in front of people. Yeah. It's kind of and trial it's, by fire, yeah, right? It's a great it's a great trial by fire. People are just walking by you, so if you want to get their attention, you have to like really perform so busking can be a great way to kind of hone your performance shots and be like, what's my thing? What gets people to pay attention right. to me? Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, um, I think that like everybody who plays music should busk, like do at least spend like some time busking just to totally. like, because it will help them figure shit out. It will. Yeah. One, two, one, two, three, four. No one likes you. They just hate to be alone But not so much they'll take you home No one likes you when you're stoned No one likes you when you're drunk When you're too big to call You'll sail that ship until it's sunk No one likes you when you're drunk So find a bar, find a girl Drink your beer, rule the world Stay up late, drive home high Forget your job, forget the bills Run your mouth Chase the thrills I swear that this is gonna be your year the Gang's all gone, you're still here Shot eyes and a broken tooth Growing up is hard to do But no one wants to be like you So find a bar, find a girl Drink your beer, fool the world Stay up late, drive home high 
your job, get the bills, run your mouth, chase the thrills. I swear that this is gonna be your year. The gang's all gone and you're still here in this town. When all you do is drown, away from every lifeline you've been. Gone, you're still.